Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about most actions with WebDriver I.O. How we can able to handle most actions. Right, the, the most actions we are discussing here, move to element, drag and drop and double click on a web element. These are the three operations we are going to see. The sample I can able to show you here. There is an interactive and this uh, all the things we can able to move over. We are not clicking, just we are a drag and drop. Just we are move, move over in that particular element. It is able to click. Okay. And for this, I created for one export already. Okay. Double forward slash and a text equal to and interactive. That is a value I took and I just copied. Okay, now on this, based upon this, I'm going to click for double click. Sorry, mouse over. For mouse overing purpose, I'm going to use for constant overing and a which, and I'm going to use for dollar single quotation my x path. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to using here a which and mood dot move move to this is a function move to okay once you mention this particular element it will move to that particular element whether it is moved or not we'll see now i'm running my screen Now you can see that particular element is moved and also it is closed. Okay. This way we can able to uh, mouse over that particular element. Any element we can able to mouse over one by one. Okay. How many times you are mouse over? It's not a big deal. Okay. You can able to how many times you can able to mouse over that particular element. That many times you can able to mouse over. And we have double click and move to element, uh, sorry, drag and drop and move to, move to element is completed and infusion element. So, drag and drop. If you drag this particular element, it will drag in this location. Okay, how we can able to drag and drop. And if you click the double click, whether it will uh, work for that or not, we can able to see. For this, we need to choose for another URL. I'm going to take for another URL. Okay, for this, again, I'm going to take for export of this particular element. I'm going to do for both the cases at one time. Okay, I'm going to take for export of this. And I'm using for button and text. Text equal to copy text. Okay, this is the one. If it is there, then we can able to double click on that particular element. Now I'm going to use for here for double click. Double click. This is a function. We need to take it. It is a small letter. Okay. And drag and drop. Now we need to drag and drop. If you see here the drag and drop, if you Identify this is the element uh, ID is presented. We need to take the ID and constant. Source and I am using for a wage and a dollar single quotation hash because ID it is presented. That's why I'm going to use for a wage. And again, I can able to use for constant target and again a weight and dollar and single quotation. And here again, a drop location, which is the value it is presented. Uh, this is the ID it is presented. This also. And every time it will not provide the same things, but we need to choose based upon our convenient. Okay. And in case if you have a frames, right in the frames, I'm going to explain you for the next video session time. 
you can able to watch that also because I can I am going to explain the complete uh, end to end for that there. And here you can able to use for drag and drop, and you can provide for target. Okay. Now I'm going to do for two actions. One is double click and another one is drag and drop. Okay, the drag and drop, most of the time browser will be open small browser. For this, what I can do, right? I'll open for maximize the browser because we need to maximize the browser and see that whether we can able to use it or not. This I already explained in my previous video sessions. Okay, please go through that. Now, running this action, now it will maximize the browser and it will load that entire URL and it will go for, click that button, now maximized. Now double click and drag and drop. Both the actions it is done for one time. Okay, this is the way we can able to verify. Like we can able to do for double click or we can able to do move to element or we can able to use for drag and drop, okay? If you like this video, please like my video, please subscribe my YouTube channel, and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. In case if you have any doubt and some concerns, you can please comment on this video. I'll try to give some suggestions or some explanation or something like a code also I can able to provide, okay? Thank you for watching.